we have a population we are taking sample size n for example and we are taking all possible samples right yes okay continue oh maybe uh, let me let me write it down this is the population this is the sample i expect you that for every question you document the content of the question using these circles okay continue please okay and we are not interested in variations of people but we are interested in variations of x bar very good so population of people but we are not interested in them we are interested in x bar because x bar will give us you know if we understand x bar that would be the only thing that in future we will have to predict the parameter of the population which is the goal of the course so we are only interested in x bar when we are talking about central limit theorem okay so it tells us about the variations of x bar the variations are normal okay um the the mu x bar is equals the mean, the, the mean of all of the x bars yes is equals to the mean the, to the mean of what to, to the mean of the people right yeah the people okay and, and the standard deviation of x bars is is equal to the standard deviation of the people all over the square root of the sample n perfect so we know everything basically you know about a normal distribution if you know the mean and the standard deviation then you know everything so now you should be able to answer my question so a factory produces metal bars with average lengths of 100 millimeters standard deviation of all of the products is five what is the chance that the average lengths in a sample of Uh, 25 is more than 103. Okay, so what should I do? Raymond, uh, first of all, you did your participation. You got the Amir dollar. Thank you. That was my question, and you answered it well. Okay. Um, so, now, tell me what should I do? Okay, similar to the previous cases that I did for you in the normal distribution and made everything very systematic, I will do the same thing here. We draw a circle for the population. We have to document everything. This is population of what? 
Metal bars. Yeah. Lengths of bars. Lengths of bars. Then, uh, do we know anything about the population? Domain is 100. Very good. Standard deviation of the population is far. Okay. Are we taking any samples or something? Sample of 25. Yeah, we are taking a sample of 25. Is there something that we are interested in in that sample? It should be more than one or three. No, but what is our interest in that sample? Average. Yes, very average good. Length. Exactly. We are interested in average of a sample of 25. So here we are interested in the behavior of the average. So if the question is about the behavior of the average, do we know anything about the behavior of averages? Or do we know how this sample means may happen, how, how they can happen? In how many different ways they can happen? The mean, this X bar varies and its variations follows a normal distribution. Why do you say that? Central limit theorem tells us that it's normal. What else do we know about the variations of X bar? That average of all sample means is exactly equal to mean of population. What else do we know about the variations of X bar? Uh, so what we know is um, distribution is normal, mean of samples are equal to mean of the population, and standard division of the sample is equal to... No, 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 not the, the sample, not the sample. Not the the sample standard way. deviation of variations of all of these samples. Yes. You know, we have this sample, but we, we are not talking about this sample, we are talking about how all of the sample all the means... Samples. Maybe, yeah. So standard yeah. deviation of all of the samples is? Equal to standard deviation divided by a sample. Standard deviation of what? Population. Uh, yeah. All okay. of them. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is the standard deviation of the, so this is the mean of the bars. Metal bars? And this is the standard deviation okay. of the bars. Yeah. So, so standard of deviation of X bars is a standard deviation of, you know, Metal bars divided by square root of m. So this is 100 and this is 5 divided by square root of 25. So it would be 1, right? Yes. Okay. I was trying to read this, but I couldn't uh, explain it nicely. Yes, I will repeat that so many times such that all of you can verbalize it very nicely. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is not an exam. So uh, we know how X bar varies. And the question says, what is the chance that the average is more than 103? So where is one? Oh, now we are dealing with a normal distribution. What is the step one? Annotate the curve. Yeah, we did it. What is the step two? Point of Identify interest. the points of interest. Very good. Point of interest is? 103. What is step three? Identify the areas of interest. Very the colors. Good. So that would be is more than. So that would be this area. Can we find this area in the table? No. No, we can't. Oh. Oh, we will we can find or with Z values. Yeah, no, this is about just the area. Unfortunately, that area by itself is not in the table. So we are also interested in this area. And then we have to go to the table and find the values in the table. So we have to, because the table is based on Z, we have to convert everything to Z. This Z is zero. This Z is 103 minus 103 divided by 1 is? 
0.4 How much is this area? Oh, it's uh, 0.5 minus 0.49. No, no, no. No. I'm asking you about the green area. 0.4987. Thank you very much. And uh, now we know that from here to infinity, this red area is 0.5. Therefore, the answer to the question, the final answer is uh, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4987. Amir, sorry, I have a question. Sure. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so for this uh, table, why, why don't we just like uh, what we did, used to do to calculate the Z? by using 103 to minus 100, and then divide by two. Uh, divide by five, you mean? It's a standard deviation as well. Oh yeah, divide by yeah. five, yeah. Yes, because if the question was about what is the chance, I write the other question here. This is a very good question, and I suggest all of you to take a note of this. If the question would say, what is, the chance that a random metal bar is longer than 103. Just compare this question and that question. You know, the, the, this question on the right side was about average. I highlight it again. Yeah. This, what is this question about? Is it long? Yeah, like it is about, so uh, most of them are about the probability. That is not the difference. Look at this. What is the chance? What is the chance? So that part of the two questions is the same. I am asking the subject of the red question is what? If that's the more red question, is just ask me for one thing. Yeah, it's about, very good. One, a, metal bar this question is about a metal bar uh, when we want to take a metal bar do we take it from population of bars or population of x bars population do this question the red question am i going to take a metal bar from here or i'm going to take the mean of 25 bars in the red question we're going to choose it from the population. Exactly. So the red question is about this mean and this is standard deviation. Yeah, if the question is about a bar, then mean is 100, standard deviation is five. If the question is about the mean of a sample of 25, the story is different. Yeah, okay, so, uh, so wherever it's asking the average, so the mean value is all the, the Z value for mean is always zero. Is that correct? No, Z value for mean is always zero. Z means the distance from mean. Yes. So the distance of mean from mean is always zero, no matter okay. of what kind of question. Okay. Thank you. The difference, the difference is this denominator. You ask me, why didn't we just use sigma of five? Why are we using sigma of one? The answer to the question is that when we are interested in the variations of X bar or when the question is about the average, this average doesn't vary very much. And this, the word average leads us to use a, a smaller variation. If the question is about a metal bar, metal bars vary a lot and we will use the standard deviation of metal bars. And like on the other hand, just look at this, it is so obvious. If the question is about metal bars, then you have to use the standard deviation of metal bars. If the question is about the average, then you have to use a standard deviation of the average. Like if you just go home and just think about this, this is so obvious. This question is about average, I'm using a standard deviation of the average. This question is about a bar, I'm using the standard deviation of a bar. There's nothing, you know, mystical about this. 
There is nothing surprising or there is no trick point here. 